probably everybody in this room um, has struggled with how to balance work and family. It's not an easy thing to do. And I, I told you about how it was when I first went offshore. Well, Stan and I, and Stan's here with me uh, tonight. I appreciate him being here. So Stan and I um, got engaged shortly after I went to work for Shell. And remember I was hopping around on the drilling rigs for the first year. So I basically planned our wedding from offshore. <laughs> so imagine this, I'm standing on the rig floor and here are these guys right with the tongs and they're making up the pipe and you know, slinging mud everywhere. And I'm standing there kind of observing the whole thing. And then all of a sudden you hear them come out on the PA system on the rig floor and it says, um, Shell Engineer, because they never knew my name. <laughs> Shell Engineer, the florist is online too. <laughs> and these guys would look at these roughnecks, the roustabouts, they would look up and they'd be like, what the hell happened to the oil and gas business? <laughs> but I had no choice. We didn't have cell phones back in the day. So I, my, they, the florist and the caterer and all those people, they chased me all over the Gulf of Mexico trying to track me down. <laughs> So it was, uh, but you know, you just do what you have to do, don't you, right? When you're, when you're a mom or a wife, you do what, you, what needs to be done and you just hope that it, it's all gonna work out in the end. And I'll tell you what, and then, you know, we just need to do a better job in general of encouraging more young women to get into STEM type curriculums. You know, uh, you don't always, just because you're good at math and science, you don't always think that you're going to go be an engineer or an accountant or you know any of these technical careers, right? It's easier to think that you're gonna be a math teacher or something, not that there's anything wrong with that. My mom was a math teacher, but it's just to say that um, we, we need to have more women role models like you all to inspire women and to offer more STEM type curriculums in, in the schools robotics teams. I mean, there's a lot of programs right now that your companies could get involved in, you can get involved in and bring those kinds of programs into the schools to help spark an interest in some young woman to know that she could be an engineer or she could be a scientist and, and do some great things. And so um, I would encourage you to do that as you have opportunities. That's certainly something I'm very interested in as a legislature. As a legislator, it's something that uh, I absolutely am going to work to sponsor and try to do some, some good things in the state of Louisiana in that area.